my wig is in desperate need of some TLC because what is this? Let's do something about this. <laughs> Hello guys welcome back to my channel long time no see i know did you even notice i doubt but anyways guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking this video so today i'm going to do a hair transformation video i'm going to be transforming my hair and this is the the results you're kind of looking for me to achieve and i did achieve what i was looking for so i'm filming this intro one to say hi hello but also two to let you know that if you've not watched my how to detangle your synthetic wigs for good then i will link that below or i'll try and tag it somewhere and you should watch that so you understand exactly what i'm doing in detail but basically in my original video i shared that i like to use shearing scissors on my synthetic wigs to stop them tangling like for a long long time but over time my wig actually started to expand so the last time I thinned my wig down it was super thin and easy to comb through but over time it started to expand which I didn't know wigs did that so I had to do the whole process again and that is what this video is about me transforming this wig back into life so yes I hope you enjoy and let's jump into the video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe I would really appreciate it and thank you thank you so much for I think 2000 subscribers like that is a lot for me especially since i don't really post as consistently as i should and i'm going to start posting consistently but thank you so much for those of you subscribed and who always click my videos i appreciate you so much so yeah let's get into the video so as you can see this wig is a hot mess if you've watched my previous synthetic wig hair transformation the one where i was wearing the red top this is the same wig in that video and my hair looked so good in that video by the end when I transformed it. So this is a bit embarrassing. Now this isn't to say that my trick for detangling synthetic wigs doesn't work. I actually learned from one of your comments about the reality of a synthetic wigs. Basically the reason it's reverted back to this state, it's not like tangled tangled but it's like thick and a bit matted. I don't know how to describe it. But yes, one of you guys actually told me that synthetic wigs expand i had no idea about this and that's why i think i need to keep doing the shearing scissors technique so that as it expands i can still keep the same density i don't know if that's making sense but it's making sense in my head so today that's exactly what i want to do because yes i do brush this wig out but it doesn't get it back to the way it used to be in that video and i'm trying my best to revert back to the way it was back then as you can see i was going to wash the wig but to be honest i feel like washing it in this state is going to make it a bit more worse and a bit harder to brush out so yeah i'm gonna do the detangling process and then i'll just wash it another day this is just like makeup and the glue that is built up but otherwise the wig itself is still okay so yeah let's just get started before i even get started on the wig itself i'm just going to lay down the wig securely on my head and glue is not enough to do that so i'm going to just wrap it down with a satin head scarf so it's much more secure when i brush it out then i'm taking a hair tie to hold my hair back while i section the parts i need to brush out So taking a normal hairbrush, I'm going to section off a relatively thin part of my wig so I can start brushing it out from tip to root. And this is why securing down the wig is very important because the brushing can get a bit rough. And then here is the key part, guys. I'm going to take shearing scissors or thinning scissors. And then in that section I've just brushed out, I'm going to work maybe four or five sections just cutting into the hair with the shearing scissors. And this will cut in layers into the hair strands so that when it brushes out, it brushes out super easy just the way human hair does. And this is what creates a tangle-free synthetic wig. As I mentioned before, don't forget to check out the original tutorial on how to make your synthetic wigs tangle-free for good. Once I cut my sections with the thinning scissors, I brushed out the excess hair. And you will see excess hair being pulled out, which is good. That means that the shearing scissors have worked and depending on how much you've cut the section of hair will feel a little bit more thin which is exactly what i was looking for because this wig was way too thick so once i'm done brushing the hair i simply just twist that section and then move on to the next repeating the same exact process 
And remember, when you're parting your hair to brush out, try not to make the sections too thick because when you're going to cut with the shearing scissors, it may not cut properly or as efficiently as you would need. So I continued that whole process throughout the rest of my head, doing the exact same thing, sectioning, brushing, cutting, <laughs> brushing again, and then twisting the hair to move on to the next part. So as you can see here, I am almost done with one half of my head. So I'm just going to finish off the one remaining at the front. And then I did the other half off camera because honestly, I didn't want to bore you with doing the exact same thing. I think you get the main idea of what I'm doing here. I'm literally just thinning the wig. So half of my head is done and I went ahead and did the rest of the wig. And here we are with the full wig completely detangled. I don't know if you can call it detangled or thinned. Okay, so this is what we are working with. I have done the other side and now I'm ready to undo the twists and brush out my hair. So brushing it out was super easy as you can see as i was brushing it through some more hairs did come out but that's good because this wig was really thick and i wanted it to be as thin as possible compared to the beginning compared with what we were working with before it looks way more healthier smoother and easy to brush So let's remove this, okay. I actually want a side part, so yeah, I'm going to glue down the wig and then I'll do the parting stuff. I literally only just use the tiniest amount of got to be glue around my edges and not so much on the edge, but more so on my forehead. I mean, my forehead is kind of big, so <laughs> I have a lot of space to work with and that's really good because I don't want to put glue directly on my edges because I applied the glue around the edges and then sprayed the freeze blast on top of that. I also secured the wig down with the same satin headscarf so it could dry and then I did my makeup off camera so I could do the final reveal. So I'm going to let that glue on for about 30 minutes, I don't know, until whenever I'm done with my makeup and then I'll be back to style it a bit more, do the parting and that should be it. So yes, yeah, so let me go do my makeup and I'll be back to untie this and see what we're working with. Styling was kind of hard because I couldn't find my original part and looking back on this video, I could have done the parts way better than this and I'm hoping in future videos I can try and install this wig after washing it properly so you can see its actual full potential but I'm still happy with the way it came out.
I really need to wrap this up because it is so hot right now and this ring light is not helping my situation but guys I found my parting my old parting and I think I've got the results I was looking for my wig is less thick and dense i'll probably do it again because honestly i don't mind having a medium to thin wig it's much easier to brush out and handle this wig was just super super thick from the moment i bought it and got it out of the box i think i do need to trim the ends they're looking a bit underloved i don't know but it's maybe affecting the the brushing process and just making it not look you know to its full potential i'm pretty much happy with the results i didn't have to wash the wig i will wash it someday but like i didn't have to wash the wig to transform it back into its full potential which i knew and believed it had so yes guys thank you so much for watching this video i'm not sure what it's going to be called exactly because I just sat here and installed my wig. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it's helped you or it just gave you a few tips and tricks or gave you motivation to try and revive your old synthetic wigs. And they don't even have to be old, even just like your matted wigs that have been worn a few times and they need a little bit of attention. I hope it's motivated you to, to do that. My windows are wide open, so there's a really annoying fly that's just come in and it's anyways at least it's coming at the end <laughs> i didn't get to film me doing my makeup but if you'd like a video dedicated to me doing my makeup then i'd be more than happy to do so but that's you know if you want or if i just feel like doing it then i will but yes guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and please share this video with anybody who needs help with their synthetic wigs so that is all for me today guys i will see you in my next video bye <laughs>